Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vega Goose. Joining me today is Ultima CJ. Today, How's we're going? today we're talking about the Ghostbusters. Yes, not the original. Now, I want to start off by saying that honestly, this movie surprised me a lot because I expected it to be a lot worse than it was. And I'm going to say some praise right at the start. The Ghostbusters themselves, the four actresses who played the Ghostbusters, did an amazing job. Yeah, especially. Um I can't remember the blonde hoop of the, the e Egon girl. I got some pretty cool stuff cooking up over here if you want to just turn your head. Um, I improved beam accuracy by adding a plasma shield to the RF discharge chamber. I have cryo cooler to reduce helium boil off. And to dub it all up, we got a freaking Faraday cage. Yeah. I was just like, oh my gosh, she's awesome. You be my girlfriend? <laughs> she, was just that, she was that nerdy and that geeky. Oh, yeah. Melissa McCarthy. Slap shot! That girl, she, she knew that if she didn't play this right, it's just... It's maybe gonna be total ass. Oh yeah, definitely. And she, she really shined. She was the Ray character, I thought. Oh yeah, definitely. And she did a wonderful, phenomenal job. Props to her, just like that. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of that cop movie with her and Sandra Bullock in. But when I watched her in that movie, was complete transformation. I was like, oh my. Oh yeah. Gosh. Especially crazy. if you watch Mike and Molly TV series. And oh you yeah. See her, you're like, holy crap. Yeah, you would not have expected that level. And she definitely brought it in this movie. In fact, like I said, all the four Ghostbusters did. Yeah. In fact, if I was going to have any problem with the movie, honestly, it's not that the story was bad. It's just that they didn't need to have a, pro a antagonist. No, they had a, a, an actual human being antagonist that was a bad guy who, you know, just was like, oh, I must purge the world. You yeah. all must die. Y'all picked on me. Boo-hoo. I had bullies in high school. Like, okay, well, who hasn't? Yeah, now honestly, if I were going to, now if one small tweak I'd have made in this movie that probably would have changed it a lot, instead of having him just be some guy, have him be possessed by Zool. And that's that why he's doing it. That would have been an interesting show. Yeah, he, yeah, he's working kind of like the chick from the first movie who was kind of the brief end boss, I mean, so to speak. He's there trying to open the portal so Zool can enter the world. That's all he would have needed. Then it would explain why there's a guy there. He's not yeah. Seymour from fucking that, Final Fantasy X. Yeah. If all life were to end in Spira, all suffering would end. I will destroy Spira. I will save it. Blah, blah, blah. Death and suffering and pain for fuck's sake, man. Buy a stabbing westward CD. Buy a comb. Shut the fuck up. This is, it was just... That part was just really rushed yeah. in itself. Like, okay, like, we have a bad guy? Right. When they did a really bad job of explaining what his plan was. Yeah, they never really and, understood how he got And then when he got resurrected or, in the end, it's like, oh, that, that happened. I'm like, yeah. okay, whatever. It's like so. every other ghost had a story as to why they were a ghost. They had, like, you know, they were tortured to death, locked in a basement, etc. He was just, I was mad and killed myself. <laughs> So it kind of took away a little bit of the impact. Well, I can see why he killed himself. He's like, okay, I know I'm bones, so screw it. Bye. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Pretty much. <laughs> and the only other issue I really had is, I'm sure CJ will agree with me, there was just way too much dirt. Yeah, it's right. Particularly with Thor. The, I don't forget what he played in his real He's, name, but... Regardless, he just he he wasn't the secretary. I get what they were going for. They were trying to go with like the exact opposite of Janine from the original series, and I get that. But the problem I had with it was they went way too far the other way. I think it's because of the sec. I guess if some people said this movie had that too much man hate, which it did, we'll we'll get that to in a second. Yeah. But I he played such an idiotic, dumbass character, like a male blonde model, but just all looks but no brain. Basically. And I've seen this guy act, and he's no douchebag. Oh yeah, but and it's gonna be hard to watch another Thor movie with him in it because I'm just gonna think, oh look, it's the douchebag from Ghostbusters because he he overtried too hard to be stupid. Oh yeah, and, that's and honestly, if that was the sexist man hate part, okay, you have that. Yeah, honestly, I think what this movie did because despite what you've seen with other reviews, there are good laughs in this movie. Yeah. There are legitimate funny moments, but the problem is, is that for every funny moment, there's at least three or four groaners. And they were just like, oh my God, what are they doing? Yeah. Honest to Too God, much. some of it, some of it, the parts with Helmsworth felt a lot like, if you remember way back, there's movies like Epic Movie, Date Movie, etc. This felt like he was trying to do his rendition of Ghost Movie. And it just, it, it honestly, I never if saw it, that. But yeah, honestly, if they had taken his character and made him less derpy, I feel like the movie would have been vastly improved. Actually, have given him a character instead of just being the walking punchline. We might have cared when, spoilers, he gets taken over by the main bad guy. We'd have been concerned for Kevin instead of just being like, oh, who cares, just kill him. 
Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? I, I, they really, really tried. I mean, they broke a lot of fourth wall references, and some of them were pretty funny. Oh, yeah. And they did a lot of shout outs, like the original building, um, all the cool gadgets. I mean, the I think they overdid the gadgets, but that's the third part, too. Yeah. But they just, they really, really, they overdid it. And certain certain movies you can't do that it's just like okay they're trying too hard to be fucking funny exactly it doesn't work now i've played in you know, one video game series i played was hyper mention neptunia volume one that game was derpy as hell they did they did everything from princess and other castle to <laughs> dangerous to go alone you name it but the theme of that game was making fun of the console wars back between sega and nintendo that exactly. was the theme of the game so it worked here it did not Exactly. That I do duck points on. Though we do have to definitely give definite props. Best cameo in the movie, Dan Aykroyd. When he looked over and said, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Or, I clap. Or how, or how about when they were like looking at YouTube uh, YouTube comments, bitches ain't gonna have no ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, was, there yes. it is. There's, okay, if that's a little hint, like I had a friend told me that the, the, he read an article, and I actually read a couple articles too, saying there's a lot of man cave in this movie. I'm like, there wasn't. No. And where, I don't know where, especially, I don't know where you angry feminists are coming in. Yeah, it's hate video, I don't care. But where you, where it's like, oh, you hate women, or you're a feminist, you'll see it's like, where? I don't see any man hate. I, I enjoyed the film. I, overall, I enjoyed it. I didn't think. It was making constant boom, boom, boom no. to men at all. No, there was a couple of silly. I mean, there was three. There was three that I found. That was, of course, the male secretary because they made him a complete douchebag. Right. I thought that was kind of demeaning, but not, not too. It was still in a derpy way. Then there was the crotch shot to the big ghost <laughs> to get into the portal. That was funny. And at the very end, when Sigourney Weaver come, shows up with with the Egon character and she says, Oh, morning lights are for dudes. I'm like, <laughs> I thought that was cheesy. Yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't like, oh, I hate men. I'm a I'm a evil lesbian dyke that just hate all men kind of crap. Like, well see the beautiful thing about us being men is we know we can take a joke. <laughs> yeah. And, and and where they got that those I don't know I'm I, please say in the comments below either on my channel or his like let us know. Where the fuck are you getting this man hate shit at? I didn't see it. Yeah, because we did not find it. I, I've watched movies that had man hate, and yeah. that did not happen. Very minimal, and it was more jokingly than anything. Oh, yeah. Overall, for final wrap up of the film, I will say it is way better than I ever expected. I expected it to be way worse. I fucking got it. I fucking got it. What is it? What class? It's a class 10 <laughs> fucking stinker. It's a oh, class 10 no. goddamn piece of shit fucking movie. Now here, I mean, I asked you this question before we saw the film. Would you watch this film again or would you play all the way through the original Ghostbusters? Oh, I watched for the SNS, for the NES. Oh, I watched this game. Same here, I watched the movie again. Oh, yeah. That was an bad asthma piece of shit. Yeah, there's no movie I wouldn't watch to avoid playing that thing again. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, Honestly, I mean, in a way the movie failed and the movie, the movie was good. Honestly, should have they just done it like a remake, uh, con not a remake, but a continuation? Because that's what I was aiming for. But as a remake, it wasn't bad. I mean, I really thought they were going to really butcher the crap out of it. Other than, I mean, Ghostbusters 2 had its dirt, but they didn't over try. I think they oh, yeah. were thinking Dan Aykroyd. Because he helped, he helped write this film. He over, they overdid the derp a bit too much. Yeah. And they, they may not realize they did it. They thought, oh, this is funny. I'm like, and some parts of me, I'm just like, I laughed at all the derp. I just shook my head. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. But you know, do you think it should have been a continuation, or just did you think this remake had its justice? Honestly, I feel like it would have been better. It would have been definitely better received if it had been a, re a, a continuation. Continuation. Ghostbusters three, but with a new cast, that'd have been fun. I mean, like, Ghostbusters three was that video game. That was the oh, Ghost yeah. even though it was just called Ghostbusters, the PC, Xbox, PC oh, yeah. port. That because it was basically it, it was a continuation oh, yeah. from part two and part one. You play as a main character, and you're out with the other other actors. Oh yeah, speaking so, of a bit of a shout out, that is available on Steam for 19.99. I'd highly advise you play it. It was worth 20 game. bucks. It oh, was yeah. definitely. I mean, it was a decent game. I mean, oh I, yeah, I can't hate on that. Definitely. But yeah, 
I heard something really weird. What zoo? If they make another Ghostbusters, would I go? Would you go see it? Oh yeah, if, if they almost they keep the same characters. Yeah, as long as they keep the same Ghostbusters. And not yeah. Do the dirt. yeah, I'm thinking that based on what they've gotten, based on the dirt, they're probably scale it back for the next one. At least I hope so. One thing that we actually didn't see in the theaters, but I saw before we saw it, there is an after credit scene in which Patty is listening on the headphones and she just looks over and says, what's Zool? So I'm assuming that's going to be the villain of the next film. Now, if they do that, that's a, well, okay, that would be, yeah. Well, they did that with Star Trek. Yeah. Spoilers with the second Star Trek and the whole con bit. So, yeah. okay, I can see them taking that route. Yeah. And, now, since they've made this first movie, if they make a second movie, don't make a continuation of of the originals. Right. Make a continuation. Yeah, do a Zool thing if you want to, yeah. but... But do it your own way. Do it your own way. Yeah. Make it an actual legitimate Ghostbusters 2. Uh, the question is, are they going to call it Ghostbusters 2, or is this going to be Ghostbusters 4? They, I feel like they're doing the Rambo pit. Yeah, <laughs> at this point. But, I mean, I've seen movies do that. It's... And I really thought, I, mean, I thoroughly thought it was going to be as, almost as bad as Jackie Chan. Because no disrespect to Jackie Chan, you are no, what is it, Patrick, I can't remember his last Pat Morita. Pat Morita. You yeah. are no Pat Morita. That movie shouldn't have been touched. Exactly. I mean, it's just, the story was bland. And, you know, it's just, I think he tried too hard to be a Mr. Miyagi. I think so, just, yeah. Here, wasn't well, nearly as bad. Oh, yeah. So, I, I I guess overall, I got my ten dollars worth. I mean, I laughed, I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Um, I would not definitely go see a twenty dollars IMAX thing. No, like that. hell no. So, and we say, and no, we would have had this review up way a couple weeks back, but the universe wouldn't let us go yeah. see it. Things just kept getting in the way. <laughs> but um, definitely, if you're not going to see it in the theaters, you know, definitely, I guess, rent it at the most. Oh yeah. Give it somewhat props because it wasn't. A shitty film, and you know, like, like I said, to me, they tried too hard on the derp, and that's pretty much, I think, overall what killed it for me. Why yeah. it got a six out of ten, yeah. <coughs> they tried too hard to be funny, yeah. And when you try too hard to be funny, you wind up derpy, yeah. and it just no, I mean, I, I like good derp, but when you, oh, yeah, good, when derp. you, when you make bad derp, it's just like, eh. you just it's don't not enjoy it at all, people. no, no, so. This is Ultimate CJ saying thanks for watching, you know, thumbs up and all that, like and subscribe and all that, and definitely see the movie, I thought it was decent. Oh, yeah. Better than Independence Day 2. Oh, God. Oh, yes, definitely. We will see you in the next video. Bye! A bunch of CGI ghosts and going like, oh, oh.